Greetings adventurers, Frost back, and today I want to go over the new items that are going to become available with the Scenarian Hold Rep. They include Rock Fury Bracers, Deep Rock Bracers, Earth Strike, and Wrath of Scenarius. Those are some of the most notable pieces that will become available through this, and I just want to go over quickly, well, not really quickly, this is kind of a long quest chain on how to obtain these items, how to prepare to be able to obtain these items as fast as possible. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first step inside the chain to start working to get your revered items and your uh, exalted items with Scenarian Hold, Rock Fury Bracers, Deep Rock Bracers, Earth Strike, a lot of good items that are available. You're gonna wanna go ahead and pick up Field Duty and then you're gonna to wanna to pick up Scenarian Battle Gear. Now, once you have both these, come over here. You're gonna turn in Scenarian Battle Gear. Now this opens up options to get all the good items, right? So Rock Fury Bracers, best in slot for mages and AQ. Deep Rock Bracers, <clears throat> arguably Abyss. For Warrior in AQ, there are some Leather Bracers that do more damage, but these uh, are plate. So you want to pick up that one, and then you also want to pick up the Exalted one. Now I think Wrath of Scenarius is actually also going to probably be pretty good for Mages and Warlocks, because there's a comment on Wowhead uh, that says that it procs and it refreshes itself. It procs off AOE, off Hellfire is what the comment says, and then it refreshes itself so that it doesn't have an internal cooldown and what that means. And potentially it has a proc like BOED where each target you hit inside of an AOE gives you another chance to proc it, in which case it would be an incredibly powerful ring for mages. And Earth Strike is best in slot for warriors, so warriors are definitely gonna wanna get this. It's also good for rogues, I believe, um, and hunters, so. There's some very good items that are available. And then these items, they're not as nice, but they can be some nice catch-up items, potentially. Right, like even this could maybe even be something good for like fire mages, who knows? Maybe it could be some cheese stuff. But yeah. There's some catch-up gear available there. Okay, so now that you have both the field duty quest and your battle gear quests, even though you don't really need these yet, um, the main thing is the field duty because the field duty will start to get you the logistics badges and the tactical badges and the combat badges that you need for them. And then doing these quests will also give you rep towards Scenarian Circle. So I will have a bunch of texts available to do turn-ins, but um, I won't be turning in the texts until I actually have all my logistics badges and all that so that I um, can sell any leftover texts that I have. Um, there are other options if you don't wanna try and get it immediately, right? Like this is just the most min-max way to get it <clears throat> with the texts compared to farming the rep. Um, you can farm the rep in Silithus now even uh, or you can wait till AQ drops and then you can farm it in AQ20 with like uh, rep farms in AQ20, kind of like how people did CG rep farms. Um, I'm sure that'll be a thing. And then you can also get rep just by running AQ40 and AQ20, obviously. But this is how you get it immediately when you first arrive here. Or when AQ first drops, like within the first week. Okay, so once you make it down here with your field duty quest, then you're going to come up to Krug Skull Split. You're going to right click on your unassigned papers. It will turn them into prepared papers. And then now, what I need to do, there's a timer on this guy that he has to uh, kill. You have to kill the this hive guy that spawns. So once you kill the hive guy that spawns then you can turn in the field paper so i'll go ahead and kill the hive guy that spawns real quick
Now that he is dead, come up to Krug. We will have a, a blue question mark on his head. And I can turn in the papers because I already turned them into prepared papers. Gives me signed duty papers. And then now, with these signed duty papers, we run back to Scenarian Hold. So now, when you arrive back in Scenarian Hold, you have this field duty quest. Then you get to pick which of the three that you want to do. So remember, you have, we'll do the stalwart one. So you're gonna need 15 combats, 20 logistics, 17 tacticals. So you're gonna have to do this a lot. You have to do a lot of different ones over and over and over again. Especially if you're a warrior and you need to do both, because then you're going to need another 20, 20, and 15. Right? Um, so, yeah, you go and turn it in. Grab the logistics assignment. Then you can grab a field duty and you can do it over again. And you can get all three at once. You don't need to um, only do one at a time. So then you will loot this, and then this give, gave me seven. So now for seven, it's eight rugged armor and eight, eight heavy armor kits. Um, and then once you got those, then you would go and turn it into this guy, I believe. No, actually you bring it to Merrick Longstride, which is a guy down here. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a lot of running back and forth. You're gonna to have to have a lot of materials prepped and stuff. So now let's go over all the different uh, things you're gonna to wanna to prepare for the logistics quests because both the tactical quests and the combat quests are just quests you're going to go around and complete in Silithus, they're kill quests, uh, collection quests, stuff like that. Um, not really much to go over on those. When you get the quest if it's not explanatory on the quest itself just look it up on wowhead and there will be a very uh good guide all the quests for the tactical and legit and uh, combat badges they show exactly what you need to do on wowhead none of the uh things are wrong on here but for the logistics quest it's going to take a little bit more preparation so for the first one it's three massive iron axes um they can be made by blacksmiths they're kind of expensive, not too expensive though, right? Just iron bars, strong flux. You buy this from a um, vendor, heavy grinding stones, just some heavy stones, gold bars and heavy leather, right? None of these materials are super expensive, but if everyone's buying them all up off the auction house, then they will be expensive. So after AQ launches, I'm sure they'll get expensive, right? So proper prepping will save you a lot of gold. Next up, armor kits, um, just rugged leather, and heavy leather made by leather workers. So you're also gonna have to go around and get a lot of um, stuff made by all the different professions, right? So it's quite a big bit of leather, but leather's not too expensive, right? So this is one of the cheaper quests. Uh, next up, there's oil of immolations. So eight oil of immolations, uh, those aren't really that expensive. Six flask of big mojo. And these, uh, these aren't too expensive generally, but I don't think they're like super, super common to be posted on the auction house. So you might have to like farm some of yourself or whatever, you know, if there's not enough to buy, especially if you don't start buying them early. Uh, powerful Mojo, there should be plenty of these from CG uh, and they're pretty cheap. Next up, Ornate Mithril Boots. These are another ones that are made by blacksmiths. Um, just mithril, true silver, thick leather, solid stone, and aquamarine, right? All these materials are pretty cheap, so just getting them early and having them prepared will make it so that they are a lot cheaper and save you a lot of gold. Uh, next up, desert survival kits. Four globes of water, cheap. 
Not a ton of them on the auction house again, though. Uh, four powerful anti-venom. These aren't the cheapest, but they're only like a few gold or something like that. And you can make them with first aid, so they're not that hard to make. And you only need four of them. And then smoke desert dumpling. These aren't very cheap. These are like two gold pop. So, I mean, this quest is like a 20 gold one, but that's still not terrible. And it's going to be a lot more expensive dropping AQ, of course. And this will be like a really expensive one dropping AQ, I'm sure. Um, scrying materials. This one's not too bad. Just a large brill, large radiant, huge emerald. I mean, it's like 10 gold or something like that. Uh, again, though, I'm, I bet you huge emeralds might go up. Large radiants will go up. Large brills are going to go up. So definitely prepare them now. And I'll stop repeating that because, I mean, really, that's going to go for all of them, right? So uh, moon cloth, one moon cloth. This one's a more expensive one, too, obviously. Bolt of rune cloth, uh, two of them, and one iron web spider silk. It's like a mini blood vine without the uh, blood vine. <laughs> but uh, it's not terrible. It's also definitely more expensive compared to other ones. Uh, this one's a cheaper one, just 10 dense grinding stone, 10 solid grinding stones, and 10 heavy grinding stones, right? So just dense, solid, and heavy stone made by blacksmith and turned them into grinding stones. Uh, pretty simple one. This one, enchanted thorium bar and enchanted leather. This isn't uh, too expensive at all, right? You just got to get them made have the stuff prepared because they can be a pain to get made and then finally bandages for the field this one's nice and cheap it's just cloth right just heavy room cloth bandage heavy made we bandage heavy silk bandage not bad at all it is 30 of each so it is quite a bit but uh they really aren't bad and that's all of the uh quests all of the logistics quests it's the same exact thing for horde and for alliance uh you just go to a different area inside the world well inside so with this it's just the alliance part versus the horde part so after you get your combat badges logistics and tactical badges all done there's one last thing that you're gonna need and so this is for the revered one for the Rock Fury and Deep Rock Bracers, Earth Calm Orb, and Might of Scenarius, you will need to get a Mark of Remulos, <clears throat> which you get from this quest. Uh, this quest, you simply need to turn in a Skin of Shadow from Skolomance, three Frayed Abomination Stitchings from Stratholm. Uh, Strat Undead is better than Strat Live, but you can get them from Strat Live still, just less of them. And then a Twilight Cultist Robe from the mobs inside Silithus. And you turn these into a Aural Gold Leaf inside of Scenarian Hold. Uh, pretty simple, kind of sucks because you have to run a couple dungeons and they're not guaranteed drops, but it is what it is. It's not an easy quest chain. However, for the Exalted one, the necklace that you need is the Mark of Remulos. And the Mark of Remulos comes from the quest called the Four Dukes. And all you have to do is kill the four different Dukes that are inside of Silithus. And these are like the dukes that you kill for rep inside Silithus. So this is a pretty easy one to get finished. So here is the spreadsheet that I made to show all the different material requirements for the different quests. So it shows what the quest turn in requires in this column and then what the materials required to make these are in this column. And then basically what it is, is if you're going for just the revered item or just the exalted item, I think two of each will be plenty. And if you're going for both the revered and the exalted item, then you're going to want to get four to five of each. You could probably get away with four, but five would definitely be safe. And as I said, uh, if you have extras, you'll be able to sell all these things and probably make a profit on them. So having extra won't be a bad thing having less could potentially cost you a lot of gold. And I will leave a link to this document down in the description. And that is it for the video. So basically, all you have to do is run back and forth and keep getting the field duty quest 
If you don't like your logistics quest, you can abandon it and go get a new one and do it over again and hope that you get a different one that is easier or cheaper or whatever. And you can do the same thing with the combat and the tactical ones. Um, it's just going to take a lot of time to complete all those. You can do the combat and tactical ones at the same time as working on Scarab Lord. So if you're going to be working on that, that's a good opportunity. Um, it's going to be a big event. Tons of people are going to be down there doing this stuff that first week. So it's going to be a ton, a ton of fun. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. It is going to be a lot of work though. But if you want to catch me on stream doing it, uh, it's going to be releasing July 28th. I think the stuff is actually dropping on the 27th is when like all the Wargate stuff is going to start becoming available. But um, I wish you guys good luck with doing this. Start collecting those materials if you want to get these items. And uh, I look forward to AQ and I'm sure you do too. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all on Azeroth.